Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of microbiome therapy and how it can help treat obesity, depression, and autoimmune diseases. Stay tuned to learn how the trillions of microorganisms in your gut can transform your health. Microbiome therapy involves manipulating the microbial communities within the human body, particularly in the gut, to improve health and treat diseases. Let's explore how this works. First, let's talk about obesity. The gut microbiome can influence obesity through several mechanisms, energy harvesting, metabolite production, and inflammation. Certain gut bacteria, such as those in the phylum firmicutes, are more efficient at extracting energy from food compared to bacteroidetes. An overabundance of these bacteria can lead to increased calorie absorption, contributing to weight gain. Gut bacteria produce short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs, like butyrate, propionate, and acetate. These SCFAs regulate the production of appetite-suppressing hormones such as GLP-1 and PYY, helping control food intake and reduce fat storage. Dysbiosis, or an imbalance in the gut microbiota, can lead to chronic low-grade inflammation by increasing the permeability of the gut lining. This allows lipopolysaccharides, or LPS, from the gut bacteria to enter the bloodstream, triggering inflammation that is linked to insulin resistance and obesity. To tackle obesity, we can use several therapeutic approaches, probiotics and prebiotics, fecal microbiota transplantation or FMT, and dietary interventions. Probiotics are live beneficial bacteria, and prebiotics are dietary fibers that feed these bacteria. They help restore a healthy gut microbiome balance, reducing inflammation, and improving metabolic health. Fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT, involves transplanting stool from a healthy donor into the gut of an obese person to restore a healthy microbiome composition. Studies have shown significant weight loss and metabolic improvements following FMT. Diets rich in fibers, such as fruits, vegetables and whole grains, and low in refined sugars and fats promote the growth of beneficial bacteria like bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, aiding in weight management. Next, let's explore how microbiome therapy can address depression. The gut-brain axis, a bi-directional communication network, connects the gut and brain through the vagus nerve, immune system, and hormonal pathways. The mechanisms through which the gut microbiome influences mental health include neurotransmitter production, HPA axis regulation, and inflammation. Gut bacteria produce neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, and gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA. About 90% of the body's serotonin is produced in the gut, directly influencing mood and mental health. The hypothalamic pituitary adrenal, or HPA axis, controls stress responses. Dysbiosis can lead to an overactive HPA axis, resulting in elevated cortisol levels and increased anxiety and depression. Dysbiosis can cause leaky gut syndrome, where the intestinal barrier becomes permeable allowing inflammatory molecules to enter the bloodstream and affect brain function, contributing to depression. To improve mental health, several approaches are used, probiotics, diet, and FMT. Specific strains of probiotics, known as psychobiotics, such as Bifidobacterium longum and Lactobacillus helveticus, have been shown to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety by modulating the gut-brain axis. Diets rich in fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, and kimchi, as well as fibers and omega-3 fatty acids, support a healthy gut microbiome and improve mood and cognitive function. Though still experimental, FMT shows promise in treating depression by restoring a healthy microbiome. Early studies indicate significant improvements in mood and anxiety levels following FMT. Finally, let's look at how microbiome therapy can help with autoimmune diseases. The gut microbiome plays a crucial role in regulating the immune system and maintaining immune homeostasis. Key mechanisms include immune regulation, molecular mimicry, and inflammation. Gut bacteria interact with the immune system, promoting the development of regulatory T-cells or TREGs that help maintain immune tolerance and prevent autoimmune responses. Some gut bacteria produce antigens that mimic host tissues, potentially triggering autoimmune attacks. Balancing the microbiome can reduce the presence of these harmful bacteria. An imbalanced gut microbiome can lead to chronic inflammation by increasing the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, exacerbating autoimmune conditions. Therapeutic approaches for autoimmune diseases include probiotics and prebiotics, diet, and fecal microbiota transplantation or FMT. 
These can help restore a healthy microbiome, reduce inflammation, and modulate immune responses. Specific strains like Lactobacillus rhamnosus and Bifidobacterium infantis have shown promise in managing autoimmune diseases. Anti-inflammatory diets rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and polyphenols support gut health and reduce autoimmune flare-ups. Foods like fatty fish, berries, and leafy greens are particularly beneficial. Emerging research suggests FMT might benefit autoimmune diseases by reintroducing a healthy microbial balance. Studies have shown improvement in conditions like ulcerative colitis and multiple sclerosis following FMT. Microbiome therapy is a promising field with the potential to treat a range of conditions by restoring the balance of gut bacteria. Its applications in obesity, depression, and autoimmune diseases highlight the importance of a healthy gut microbiome in maintaining overall health and preventing disease. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more health insights and updates.